A zone is an unconditioned space that's attached to the home. In an ideal world, the zone would be completely outside the home. We'll use zone pressure diagnostics to understand exactly how connected to the house this particular attic is. So some homes have other unconditioned zones like a crawl space or an attached garage. In this case, it's just the attic. Let's see how leaky it actually is. We're actually gonna use the add a hole process and that consists of um, doing a blow dart test and measuring an attic pressure and then opening the attic hatch, doing another blow dart test with the attic hatch going and, um, and measure another attic pressure. So two blow dart tests, two attic pressures. We're gonna enter that information into, into Rick Karg ZPD software and that'll do the calculations for us. So you'll need some software apps to do, uh, to do that calculation. So we're gonna start with, so you can see we've got two gauges. One will be for the blower door and we're gonna do a regular CFM 50 test, um, um, a manual test this time. And we're measuring our attic pressure with respect outside. And we recommend doing that. We're just teeing off our outdoor reference, uh, measuring attic with reference to outside. And it's important to baseline both of those numbers. Okay, now I'm gonna set the baseline and I'm gonna do that on both gauges. And we'll let that go until both of these um, stay uh, pretty steady for a few seconds and then we'll enter that in. Next, we'll bring it up to 50 pascals. So we're looking for a change in pressure of 50. Just wait for our CFM 50 to kind of level out there. So now we can enter that information into uh, the car gap. And because uh, we use the baseline feature of the gauge, we're entering zero in for the baseline on both of those gauges. Okay, next step is we're gonna open the attic hatch and then run that test again. It's important to baseline the gauges again because now with the attic hatch open, we're gonna get a different baseline. So we cleared the baseline, we changed the 10 second average uh, back to one second, and uh, now we'll do another baseline. Set baseline, set baseline. And just as, as a rule of thumb, we're gonna, you know, look at how many seconds we let the baseline go, and then we'll do that, we'll wanna leave it at least that long on the CFM 50 reading too. So we'll uncap our fan, hit the start button. Okay, I'm gonna switch to long-term average. Now it's counting up in seconds here. I'm gonna let that go about 25 seconds again. And Jake is entering the, that information into the card software. Okay, so we've entered in the data that we've taken here and what the calculation is showing us is that roughly 58% of the leaks uh, in this home are passing through that zone. So in this house, we only have one zone uh, but this tool can be used in a lot of other scenarios. If you have an attached garage, uh, if you have a crawl space and you wanna focus some of your air sealing efforts, zone pressure diagnostics is a really good way to help you figure out which zones to attack first.